Good morning, children. Um, I have extra. I have loads of extra. I have extra from yesterday that I don't know what to do with, so you're getting extra. Enjoy. I have um, started moving sheep. I've opened the gate, and I'm hoping, beyond all actual reasonable hope, that they're going to bring themselves. I'm hoping they're going to bring themselves because I want them in that field over there. Yeah, they're doing a good enough job of yowling and carrying on so that everyone knows that we're moving. And I'm so hoping they just do it themselves. This will be amazing. <laughs> I was dreading this moment. Number one, come on. God, number one. Nell's never been near a lamb, so. Hmm. Good girl, good girl, come on. Yeah, yeah, you stay with me, stay with me. To move a tiny bit faster, a tiny bit faster mums to gather up their lambs and run for the hills basically um all in a wanna good girl here let's not let's not let's not uh, uh, lie down lie down lie down well sort of lie down stop we have just sold the tail end of last year's lambs all of them and um, we got wind that prices were uh, amazing so it's the end of ramadan basically um Muslim Islam festival and so they have been on a fast and it's coming to an end hence why the big feast is lamb it's lamb because obviously um we don't eat cows so we eat lambs when you are Muslim and yeah without the Muslim and Asian communities they are the backbone of British sheep farming it's something that we don't talk about enough. Um, we only started eating lamb when we budged our own, if I'm perfectly honest. It's not something I'd go and pick out on the supermarket. Uh, so yeah, that's why we sold. Prices are sky high. I'll let you know what they are when they come back. Um, it'll, be really, it'll be tomorrow, I think, to be fair though. That dog, she's a gem. She is the kindest, most respectful animal. I've come across. She really is. Good girl. Good girl. You keep them in check. Keep them in check. The sheep is not wanting to go. Take your lamb with you. Go on. Good girl. Thank you, friend. Go on. Hey. She's going now. We're left with a load of lambs in a field, which is not ideal. And a cat. A load of lambs and a cat. Peggy, go and get Rufus for me. Peggy would love a lamb snack. Peggy would love a lamb snack. <laughs> Trying to plot fog this. Yes, look at this. That looks amazing. Obviously, all the white marks will not be on it because we'll pressure wash it when they finish. But yes, in um, round the corner for us as well, like along here. They've just fitted the corner. Turning some girls out. Oh, look, we've got welcome party, Dobby. This is Dobby. Dobby went bold once. It was. She looked like Dobby. That was the point. It was quite funny. Wow. That shed looks so snazzy from here. What a view. What a view. Absolutely abused by this tiny little lamb. Come on, lass. Meh. Meh. Okay. Follow me. Follow me. Come on. Follow me. Stop with the attitude. Go on, lady. Follow me, follow me. Tell yous. Tell yous. Hello, you. <laughs> what do you want? You naughty little smarties. What do you want from me? <laughs> Let's talk. Let's talk about Dobby. Let's talk about morning, children. Tis morning. Let's talk about poor decision making when and pride shall we say do you want to farm because you want to be the curviest 
the best priced, the butcher's choice. You know, one of the boys. Or do you want a farm for absolute ease? Twins, land itself, plenty of milk, good mother. That is the question, that is the question. Because at present we have got down to the sheep that I put a Tex Beltex top on. And let me tell you, they need babysitting. Wow, they need their hand holding, holding physically, need their little hoof holding. Don't get me wrong, the lambs that are popping out, there's not any because I turned them all out yesterday, they are stunning. But it depends what you want. Do you want sensible farming that's profitable or do you want not sensible farming where you don't take into account how much your time costs and you get one nice lamb out of it, but you look good. This lady has just popped a lamb out. It took her a little bit longer, but she's doing all right. So it's just taken a breath and had a bit of a cough. Oh, good girl. She's definitely a snack addict. Look at that face. Look at that face. It's made all the sheep look dirty. I'm gonna move it um, and hopefully she'll follow it because she's licking. I just want it in a pen because they're slightly cleaner than out here where the sheep have been panching, even though there's not that many in. Um, I'll just have a... Mm. Preparation for dairy. It's raining, can you tell? This is absolutely dire. We're clearing out the freezer of existing colostrum that we have. So these here are the um, the trusty colostrum bags. They basically, you can attach tubes to them, bottles to them and all sorts of stuff. And they fit perfectly flat packed into the pasteurizer. And then they flat pack in your freezer, as you can imagine. Um, on like a little shelf system it's they're really really cool more to follow on that because i honestly i can't rave about that system enough i think it's brilliant and it worked really well when we were carving cows super super thing um but what we did is we sent these bags to our mate richard's house and richard's a dairy farmer around the corner and richard filled it up with colostrum from his dairy cows that obviously doesn't go into the bulk tank because it doesn't happen like that he filled them up for us out of some, you know, like second carbon heifers, that kind of thing. Really, really good quality. Tested it, stuck it in the freezer and flat packed it. And obviously now we're coming to the point where it's, we're going to need to do our own kind of thing. Um, and we wouldn't be feeding anyone else's uh, colostrum to our cows, like to calves. It, you, you, it would just be a no-no, let's just say. So I am defrosting it daily and I'm bringing it round and giving it to the pigs and they love it, love it. It's like extra creamy milk with extra goody bits in. Do you know what I mean? Pigs absolutely rave on it. So these are the piglatines. I haven't really shown you these very much since, since Joe and, you know, Ollie Hogs and Joe Squeals. These are the pigs. They have a lovely bed, which they love to dig up. Um, they're happy little things. They are Gloucester spots crossed with a is it a p train or a p p train i think um and we got them from just around the corner we actually have two more because we like to have four on the go but because we're bringing cows on we didn't want them to uh we're taking cows off sorry we're sending things to the auction aren't we and selling we didn't want the pigs to scupper what we were doing so they are at a friend's house around the corner he bought four of them and two of them are ours um so colin who actually supplied the bulk tank he's keeping them at his for us just until we're ready you know for that standstill kind of thing because we didn't want to mess it up <laughs> pigs are very naughty very naughty can you see it? No, never mind. Never mind. Right, kids. This don't bite me when you do it. Yeah. Tasty milk is in the tray. Oh, that's nice. Is that tasty? Tasty milk is. Got to tell you number 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 25 died the baby lamb you know tiny tiny little baby lamb um just went out and it was just led in a corner looking really miserable um and it had a really pooey bum i'd seen it had a pooey bum and when i had a look like its back passage didn't seem to be formed properly i don't know whether that's because it was early i don't it seemed to go in uh, that sounds 
that sounds ridiculous. Someone's going to tell me exactly what it is in the comments. But yeah, it seemed to go like be like have a big hole. I don't know. It was just yeah. So anyway, twenty five didn't survive, which was really rubbish. Um, we have kept death rates in lambs absolutely so low this year, lower than any other previous year. Um, but but that's not a flex. I have a pile of pets. I have a pile of pets. Um, anything that's been looking peaky or, you know, anything. I literally have just been taking them off. On previous years, I have battled to keep them on. I've battled to have them stay outside and it's always resulted in bringing dead lambs in. So this year I thought that a pet lamb is better than a dead lamb and that's what I've gone with. And I know, I know, I know it's not sustainable as a business. I know, I know. Milk powder is so expensive. The machine that we've got is also so expensive. But to hire the machine that we've got, which is £250 for the season, with a view to buy it, so obviously you get that £250 knocked off what it would cost to buy it, I hope. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm, I think that's how I gathered it. But I could have gathered it wrong. But I, I needed that many on to make it viable. So... Anything that's been looking peaky, anything that's been looking sad, uh, not, not necessarily sad, but like anything that, that looks like it's going to be an issue, I have been taking it off. So we have a fair few pet lambs, um, which, do you know what? I'd rather take the pet lambs than the dead lambs. I really would. I really, really would. So I don't feel too stupid about it. Yes, I do feel stupid and it is slightly embarrassing. Don't get me wrong. It is. It is. But they're all healthy. They're bouncing around. And at least... At least 10 of those would have been dead. Telling you now, if I'd have left them. The, yeah, yeah, so I, you know, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad at all. There's about 40 sheep left. That's not a lot. Look at how much this bad boy has grown. Just look at that. Mm. Come on now. Go on, my lad. Keep moving. It's like Kim Kardashian. Look at that. So we've had two cows down the other end and this one was doing so much better. It turned into an absolute bully. God, you... now this is a cow that's doing well. Get in there, please, without booting me. Go on, get in there. <laughs> that is a happy cow. That's what a happy cow looks like. Causing mischief and being a pain in the arse. So we're still mucking out, but I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Love you long time and I'll see you next time.